We have covered the scalar analysis of moments, meaning that we've covered, you know, the force times the perpendicular distance. And that's a good way to do moments if you're in 2D problems. Uh, the downsides of that are really you have to keep track of clockwise, counterclockwise motions when you're adding things together. And in addition to that, when we move to 3D problems, clockwise, counterclockwise get very confusing trying to find perpendicular distances and 3D is very difficult. So to be able to do these problems in 3D, we need to introduce a specific mathematical topic called the cross product. So we'll talk about the cross product. And the cross product is another way of uh, vector multiplication. And if you remember the dot product is our other method, right? And the dot product or scalar product, we would put in two vectors and we would get a single value out or a single scalar out. All right, in a cross product, we, we put in two vectors. So the input is two vectors. And the output is one vector, uh, one vector that is perpendicular to both input vectors. So one vector that's perpendicular to both input vectors. So the cross product is also sometimes called the vector product because when you put in two vectors, you get a vector out of it. Okay, so let's first look at this graphically here. So I have two vectors, let's say A and B, and we want the cross product a cross b all right and this this cross here means cross product so the cross product is going to the solution to this is going to be the we'll call it the solution c is going to be perpendicular to both of those two vectors so maybe c is up this way and c is perpendicular to b which is also perpendicular to A, all right? So they're perpendicular to both. C is perpendicular to both. And the angle between A and B, we're gonna call this theta from here to here, the angle between A and B. So how do you find C? Well, C is the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B, the length of A times the length of B, sine of theta, all right, that's the angle in between the two, but this isn't a vector, right? So this is just a magnitude and this is just a magnitude and we don't get, uh, it's not a vector yet. And so we need to apply a unit vector C here. Um, so it's just a small length of C uh, and this vector is perpendicular to both uh, A A and B, all right, so it's perpendicular to A and B. Okay, so if we're given two vectors, A and B, so A, we can write as components, AX in the I direction or the X direction. We have A, Y, and the J, and plus A, Z in the K direction, all right? All right, and then we have vector B, okay? We have uh, BX in the I direction plus BY in the J direction plus BZ in the K direction. All right, so if we're given these and we can think of numbers being in for AX, AY, and AZ here, how do we perform this cross product? Well. I'm going to show you a couple methods. To perform the cross product of A cross B, we first need to write A and B here, and then we have I, J, K up top here. So this is, we're performing this like a, it's a table. So in the I direction for A is AX, and the J, it's AY, 
and then AZ in the K. And for B, we have BX, BY, and BZ. Okay, so now we need to perform the cross product of, of this. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we first block out the I direction. All right, so this is the I direction. We're gonna block that out. And we're gonna perform the determinant of the remaining items here. So we're gonna have AY times BZ minus BY times AZ. So we kind of do this cross thing here. So we have AY times BZ minus BY times AZ. So you see that? here, here, minus this times this. Okay, and, and that is uh, the I direction. So we need an I hat on this part of it. And then we have, we would move and block out the J direction here. All right, block out the J direction and use AX times BZ minus bx times az so let's do that ax times bz minus bx times az now that is the j direction we also have to do something kind of funny with the j direction the j direction when we use this method actually is a negative out here it's a negative. So this whole value, we throw a negative sign out front. All right. And then for the K direction, we then block out the K direction here and we perform the determinant. We have AX times BY minus BX times AY. And that is the K direction and that is positive so positive negative positive so make sure you get that right don't forget that negative sign in the j direction uh, i always do and i get the problem wrong so uh, this is the vector which turns out to be the cross product so if you put in numbers for a x a y a z b x b y b z you can perform the calculation this way and so two vectors going in and the output is one vector Okay, so that is the vector product. I'm going to show you another method here, and I think this method is a little easier to perform the cross product. So what you want to do is write your two vectors similar to what we have. So we have A, X, A, Y, A, Z, and then B, X, B, Y, B, Z. And instead of doing this crossing things out like we did in the previous method, what we do here is we just copy everything again. AX, AY, AZ, and then BX, BY, BZ. Now with this method, all we do is we cross the first column out, we cross the last column out, and then we perform the determinant here. Right, this times this minus this times this. So we have AY minus, or I'm sorry, AY times BZ minus BY times AZ. And that's the I direction. And then we move down the line and we do this. So we have plus AZ times BX minus bz times ax all right and that's the j direction and then lastly we will do the k direction which is ax times by minus bx times ay so ax times by minus bx times ay all right and that's the k direction and we can put parentheses on here if we want for each one. And let's see if these two methods are the same. 
right? This one looks identical there. This one has a positive, is that correct? Bx times Az would then become positive. Yep, that looks correct. And then K. So these two methods are equal. You can use this method up here or this method. I actually prefer the second method, but choose which one you want. And the best thing about it is if you know how to work your calculator, your calculator will also perform these cross products for you.